how about fuck her? Is that language you can understand? She was a slut. Woo! Embarrassment. Woo! And she deserves to feel every bit of shame that I felt. They're about to be running here, and when they do, you're going to tell them exactly what you just told me, or I'll shoot you in your fucking head. That one. Whoa, cut down! I really need a pickup. Grab my guitar and a bottle of some liquor. Every day is like a different type of zone. I really love it when I can be all alone. I ain't happy, they left. I don't need nobody else. I don't need nobody's help. I feel waving by myself. Oh, I'm such a loner. I'm happy when I'm lonely. I don't bone no. This week has been so long as On behalf of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, I'd like to apologize for our treatment of you. Um, no, thank you. I appreciate that. Shall we sit? Quick meeting. No celebrating yet. Moving to North Carolina. Well, I can see that. And least thinks it would be a good idea. So she can... Uh, Teach me how to be grateful. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be willing to teach you a lot of things. <laughs> so? She's gonna be fucking the hell out of Sam. I guess this is... Fond farewell. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for always having my back. Sam, if you only knew, Sam. You're as cold as ice. Bless his heart. Hey, congratulations on Sam. And you managed to save at least one lost soul. What do you want, Wendy? I'm not, I'm not here to fight. Then what? Our foundation has made a very generous donation to the site dedicated to finding Ben. There is a healthy stipend in perpetuity until he's found. You get everything you wanted. You get to be the grieving father. Give money. Give status in your church. You just don't get to hurt me. Wow. I suppose you're proud of yourself. Not at all. crazy how grandpa hate blondes and his girlfriends are blonde <laughs> uh, and I see how she's sweet on Sam you know this is so dysfunctional 
This whole shit is dysfunctional as hell. I mean, that's not a brunette. She's a blonde. Dim with it, blonde, too. Nice turnout. Congratulations. Has anyone backed out? Oh, not only has no one backed out, we're still fielding requests. So we're bulletproof. It's a goddamn coronation. Is Schaefer here? Yeah, he's downstairs trying his luck at the blackjack table. You're going to want to make a quiet exit. <laughs> what are you talking about? We've instructed our people in Michigan and Wisconsin to pull your voting machines. You can't do that. It's done. No, you need me on this board if you want your foundation not to die on the fucking vine. Please, Randall. Have you looked upstairs? Oh, you should also know... We've talked to our very good friends at the FBI. This is going to be our first anti-corruption partnership. Let's just blow back on you, Wendy Bird. Oh, we're way ahead of you there. Change starts at home. Cleaning up our own house, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. You don't want to do this. Oh, but I do. Without me, you don't stand a chance of getting anyone off the SDN list. I'm well aware. God damn! God damn! What the hell is going on? You're being transferred. That's for the Oh, transferred. hell. Oh, oh, shit. Where are you taking me? Let's go. Uh, Jack, I'm gonna need a couple more limes for Jenny. Rude. Jonah, god damn. You look like a grown-ass man in that suit. <laughs> you know, there's always a job for you here if you want it. I'm actually thinking of going legit. Hmm. At least until I get through high school. <laughs> you decided where you're going to live in Chicago? Well, we, we've been talking about the northern suburbs, but I think... She's talking about the northern you are. Right. Seems congratulations, Sunny Northern. Oh, yeah. All of us. Cheers. This is impressive. It's just the beginning. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I've been thinking more and more about the day my son died. Lord! I'm to make sense of it. Lord! Is there anything you can remember about that day that seemed odd? nothing I can think of. The reason I ask is that day in your office when I brought up my son kissing to get nervous. Oh my God! I, I wouldn't know why. <laughs> you met him that afternoon, yes? Uh, the morning. When he called me that night and he said he had made a deal for the stock options. That's right. I needed some time to think about it, and we, we spoke on the phone that night. Where were you that night? I had dinner with Marty and Wendy, and then I went home. So you called him after your dinner? That's right. Because he made it seem as if he was going to see you. No, no, it was much too late. You're saying he was lying. Of course not. It just sounds like it was a miscommunication. But right. Hear me very clearly. I'm about to take over for my brother. You know our business. I suppose this must be frightening for you. If you know something about the day my son died, but you haven't told me, I will forgive you this one time. But if I find out later that there's something you aren't telling me now, well, I'll have someone slice you from your gunt to your chin. Oh 
Holy shit! It was Ruth Langmore. God fucking damn you, bitch! No! 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 Damn! 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 <laughs> she followed him to my office and she shot him. I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I had my, I had my head of security take care of the body. I am so sorry. Did you know? I didn't tell anyone. Of course not. I was terrified. I was, I was sure I would be killed. Fuck! You're close to that girl. Navarro's hit man, we can call the hit on Camilla. That's, that's not gonna matter. They're moving Navarro tonight. He's not gonna survive. Okay, so we, we, we call the FBI. We ask them to cancel the transfer. Okay, and, and then what? We've got no way to get Navarro off the SDM list because we lost Schaefer. Lordy. Lord have mercy, man. You really need me to say it? Lord have mercy. Anything we try to do, Wendy's gonna be suicide. And there you are. People are asking for you. Yep. Dear God. Thank Dear you. God. Drive safe. Where are we going? We gotta take a piss. A media milla de la carretera. Me lleva un avión. Vamos. Say hello to my little friend. Please tell me she got a gun. Why did she get out the car?
And now I know where he got it from. Ruth is a fucking G! What the f- What a hell of a finale. What the fuck? I don't had two tragic finales in a row. Have y'all seen Dexter? Season four? You know, I, I thought Wendy and Marty weren't going to make it. One of them. Motherfucking Roof, man. They killed Roof off. The best fucking character. Not over. The fuck is the fuck? The workaholic. Big night, huh? What do you want? I couldn't do my job. Everything I'd been dreaming about for four years, back on the force, Chicago PD. All I could think about was you people. And then I started thinking about this guy. I mean, who doesn't ever fill a cookie jar? What's with that? And then why give it to a kid? Except, well, wait. That kid loved your brother. Your brother wanted to run away, raise goats, so I sort of got a uh, crazy obsessed with finding out what's inside this cookie jar, you know? If it's not cookies. You know what the answer is? Evidence. DNA. I mean, we're talking chunks, bone, maybe even teeth. Oh, it must be one. He's going to be the one to take him down. Him you guys have. I knew it. We can pay you. Anything you want. They weren't going to get away with this shit. Your price. You can change your life. You can change anyone's life you want. Except your money's toxic. But it, it won't be ours. It, it'll be yours. Money doesn't know where it came from. You don't get it, do you? He probably already don't call the cops and everything. You don't get to win. You don't get to be the Cokes or the Kennedys or whatever fucking royalty you people think you are. Well, it doesn't work like that. They got beat by the fucking when? workaholic. What the fuck? Poor Dexter!
Wait, I need another episode. We need one more episode. What the hell? He really did turn to Dexter. He was saying he want to go to school, get his life together, let this be, go, be behind. He want to turn on a new leaf. He want to be legit. And Wendy and Marty was smiling. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, it's a part of me that wanted them to get caught. And it was a part of me that wanted them to win. I think I want them to lose when 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 my baby died, Ruth. I think I was like, motherfucker. I really wanted them fuckers die instead of Ruth. She had a hard life. She been through it all. She came from the slums. These motherfuckers been privileged their whole fucking life. Everything handed to them. I want the underdog to win. I'm fucking sorry about this shit. The fucking spoiled fucking rich brats won. And that they killed the underdog. Son of a bitch. And that's it, folks. That's it. That's fucking it. We don't get another episode. Jonah turned into Dexter. Dexter Morgan at the end. They killed the underdog. And the rich, spoiled, fucking privileged brats won. Okay, I'm going to finish my own storyline. Okay, I got to feel good. I have to make myself feel good. Okay, Porn Dexter turned into a psychopath killer. He was playing with dead animals in the beginning. His parents condoned it. He killed the P.I. They end up getting caught and busted. Because the other workaholic, the chick, the black chick still out there, she finds out and she takes them all down. Okay? Three ends up getting everything Ruth had. Okay? And three ends up owning the whole, the whole town, moving away, helping a lot of people, moving out, moving out the trailer park, becoming a multi-millionaire, going legit, helping people. Getting off the street, helping people in trailer parks. Three becomes the hero of the whole show. The end.
I'm so reclusive, I tell them people confusing They take my kindness for weakness and often try to abuse it They offer me all this friendship, I'm sorry, I must refuse it I love being alone, how did I come to that conclusion? It's usually cause of music, and usually I'm influenced by past and present conditions But people are so intrusive, I find that stuff amusing I treat them just like they mucus, I sneeze them out and say bless you And of course I keep it moving, day to day is amazing I'm chasing dreams but I'm patient, I'm waiting for something great but I'm pacing my mind Mine is racing, I'm aching. Uh, it's been a long damn night, and I've been thinking about this all damn night. Well, well it's been a long So I gotta find a quiet spot where I can get into the zone tonight.